Okay, the game finally starts. Uh, there's best of three between Astro Hero and Forgotten. The first game, Chaos vs Eldar and Fata Morga. So we have Astro Hero with Ooh, Chaos on the top position. Opens of Chaos Temple, two heretics, two cultists. We are chaos. Generator. Chaos is strong. Forgotten Rebeldar. Opens two guardians, two main singers, then barracks, and um, fleet of foot. And he goes for Dark Reapers. For double dark reapers, mm. might be okay for tier one. Not so useful on tier two, tier two point five though. In this matchup, I think it's better to go for triple guardians what or go for rangers in Farsia. Astro is going for Raptors, that's standard in this matchup. Usually harass with one squad of cultists and the Raptors. Advantage, but Chaos can certainly win. If they have a nice harass on tier 1, it's already gone somewhat well. Killed some uh, Guardians, managed to deny Eldar from taking his point for some time. Might also be able to kill some Bane Singers. Forgotten should just teleport this Bane Singer away. We are taking damage. My music is a pillar upon which whole worlds have been servants of chaos approach. Forgotten going for the third Dark Reaper. Yeah, he opened without a generator. We are the destroyers they need to be the life. Success. And for Banshee Aspect Stone. Command me to build. Non standard Eldar for this uh, matchup. Astro opened with a generator, so he should be able to tech more quickly, and this also means that he can go for the uh, listening post upgrades. We can serve you. <laughs> we are eager to Astro is already seeing the uh, three Dark Reapers as well. Chaos Lord is out now. And we have the second LP2. Hopefully. We can serve you. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this limb post should be placed. Hopefully, uh, Eldar will be able to destroy this and decap this point. This point needs to be upgraded, really. We can serve you. <laughs> we are eager to please. Well, we have enough units here from uh, Astro here to tie up three sets of melee units to tie up the three Dark Reapers. The problem is the Chaos Lord is in this Yes, Lord. Now, uh, Forgotten Land should hunt down the, the cultist. I don't think it's worth fixing the uh, Chaos Lord, it just takes too long. You can just ignore him for the most part, kill the uh, much squishier cultist. Astro upgrades to the relic, good. Nice defences, so all of the outer points will be upgraded. Nastro now goes for the third generator. Perhaps he wants to tech. We are Forgotten's damage. already placed the second and third generator. We are taking damage. I think he should just ignore the chaos. Uh, we'll just run it over into this corner, for example. They try yes, kill the cultist. Lord. One squad of cultists already down. That's good. Good for Eldar. 
No need to run with this stop squad stop and shoot the, the, the raptors. Ain't good. Yeah, I've forgotten so micro is a little bit sloppy. Astro already on the way to tier two. We have the four LP two on the way. Forgotten's on the way to tier two as well. Astro with a slightly better economy. Uh, but Forgotten should be able to catch up. He should be able to take the critical locations. Astro can't do much about the triple Dark Reapers for now. We are taking Two very low HP units here on the cultist. Meeting resistance. <laughs> Whatever you desire. Anything for Astro places the fourth generator. We soar on wings of fire. The problem with uh, opening with triple Dark Reapers. Or even opening with Dark Reapers as Chaos is they um, get countered by the uh, Defilers. Bless us, great one. Point us an so they become a bit useless at that point until um, you figure out how to deal with the Defilers, which can be done by with Fire Dragon Mass or a, um, a couple of Wraith Lords. But still, this is a fair bit of time that the Dark Reapers won't be very effective. Astro upgrades all of his listening posts, is hit tier 2 now, goes for the Sorcerer, and has placed the Machine Pit. We are taking damage. Forgotten hits tier 2 as well, orders tier 2 optics and armor, and goes for the support portal. Astro's economy is obviously better, he has more generators, and has upgraded all of his points. Where um, forgotten currently only has the same one LP2, but at least he owns two critical locations. Astro adds a defiler, good, and places the, the generator. Astro here are just trying to buy some time here. Forgotten should be able to kill the cultists though. The problem begins now for Eldar. We have a Defiler and a Hell Talon on the way. Astro places the sixth generator now. Forgotten goes for a Harlequin. Not sure why. Until taken I'm not sure how a Harlequin will help in this situation. Cultists could kill the Guardians how here. Can we help? Resistance. With a Hell Talon. Hell Talon should push on the opposite side. Try to do some economy damage. Forgot to go for Wraith Lords. Nice. We are taking damage. It looks like he cancelled the Holly Quinn. Forgotten's also going for the Global on Power. Raptor's not being controlled here, goes down. Curse Lord could go down as well. Yeah, nice. Sorcerer is on very low HP as well. The truth is ready. The stage is set. That's the bright lance for the Wraith Lord. Good. Cultish could just capture this point. Astro also adds a sacrificial circle. And goes for more vehicle cap. He wants to get the second hell talent. We also have the global on power, almost complete. Uh, good move by Forgotten. Should just avoid the Defiler. Uh, for some reason he r decides to run all the way back there. I, I don't see how the uh, Dark Reapers would be useful here. I thought it was quite a good idea to go and counter Harass, but... Okay. Ready to serve chaos. I am power. 
colleague been chasing us all through. How can I serve? Astro needs to be careful with this Hell Talon. Shouldn't have engaged with this one. Yeah, he gets destroyed. I think the bright one. Okay. Uh, Reef Lord retreats underneath the anti vehicle to room. He misses, though. That's funny. Second Defiler is out. Nashru decides to play some turrets and is also almost tier 3. We are the destroyer's agents on this We are taking damage. It's looking pretty good for Chaos for now. Forgotten goes for the global and requisition. Floating on energy. The destroyer's spirit lives on. I think this turret should be upgraded, perhaps. Yeah, good. He upgrades it. Third to five is out now. Astro hits tier three now. Should go for the um, possessed ones. Yeah. Also needs to place the demon pit. Demon pit. Yeah, here it goes. Go for obliterators. Could also go for the second global on power if you wanted it. Just thinking might as well. Just play it on requisition. Tier 3 soon though. Decides to go for another Wraith Lord instead. Obliterators are almost out. And uh, the possessed ones, where are they? There they are, being puffed by the defilers. First global and requisition on the way. And we have the fire research for the uh, possessed ones. Good. Forgotten gives up. He sees Astro here as tier 3. No sign of tier 3 from Forgotten. Got out Uh Yeah, and this is why I don't think you should open the Dark Reapers versus uh, Chaos. Not The only reason you should do it is. Um, the only reason you should make Dark Creepers on tier 1 is if you're under some extreme tier 1 pressure. If Chaos Masters are Raptors or Chaos Space Marines and wants to play a full tier 1 game. Nice work from Astro. Wins the first game of this best of three. A bit sad for forgotten. I don't think he's won a single round yet of this tournament. But it happens. I think we have Eldar vs Sisters of Battle this time. Shouldn't be too difficult versus. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult for Eldar on Blood River.
Okay, they may not play on uh, Blood River. Seems I've forgotten is forgotten which map you'd like to play on. Okay, we have the second game being played on Blood River. 
have Astro Hero with Eldar, opens with two Guardians, Fleet of Foot, Rave Team, two Builders and Aspect Portal. On the other side we have Forgotten with Sisters, opens with Barracks Armory, and three Missionaries. Man, I, I really hope he's not going for Seraphims on this map. See. This looks like Seth's build order. Oh yeah, he's going for Seraphims. Oh man. Will he have the second one? I'm not sure if he's going to add the second one. Will he be placed at the listening post first? Maybe he only wants to play with one. How can we help? Astro goes for Dark Reapers. What would you have us do? No generator. This might be triple Dark Reapers. We are to the we have not all our destruction. We are doomed in common. Second Seraphim on the way. So it's, this is not Seth's build order. Seth's build is three missionaries, uh, barracks, double seraphims, and then you delete the armory. I have no idea who wins between four dark creepers and four seraphims in melee. Only two Dark Reapers for now. This missionary should go down. Yeah, dead missionary. It's another dead missionary on this side as well. Dark Reapers just ignore the Seraphims, we'll hunt the uh, Servitors. Looks like both of them will go down here. Dark Reaper squad not being controlled. Okay, nice one uh, Servitor down, and he saw the second one heading this direction. Here's the third and final Servitor. I'm not sure the Guardians are heading towards the Relic, but I think they could have stuck here, decapped this point first. Astro adds the third Dark Reaper. This is exactly how I played Eldar against Astro Heroes um, Sisters a couple of months ago. <laughs> but Astro didn't go for Seraphims versus me. Guardians can just stop on this side and start shooting at the Seraphims. Astro now placing the generator, uh, but it appears there's been a misclick with the Bone Singers. They're not actually building the generator. Only one Seraphim alive in this squad. Should go down, not being focused. Oh, okay, good. At least Astro killed them both. Forgotten gets up here. Yeah. That's the majority of Forgotten's army. Goes down. So Astro wins. The best of three with a score of 2 0.